Understanding Autism Spectrum Disorder, ASD, and the concept of weak central coherence. The theory of weak central coherence was first proposed by Jutta Frith in the 1980s and suggests that individuals with ASD tend to focus more on local details rather than on global or central aspects of information. In other words, they may be better at noticing the finer details of a scene or concept but may struggle to integrate these elements into a cohesive whole. This cognitive style contrasts sharply with the exhibited by most neurotypical individuals who are generally better at synthesizing information and understanding the bigger picture. Key features of weak central coherence. 1. Detail orientation. Individuals with weak central coherence tend to excel at tasks that require attention to detail. For example, they might notice specific patterns or discrepancies that others might overlook. This strength can be advantageous in fields that require analytical skills and meticulousness such as programming, mathematics, or certain forms of art. Two, challenges with contextual understanding. Many individuals with ASD may find it difficult to grasp the context of social interactions or the emotional undertones of a conversation. Because they focus on the specifics rather than the overall meaning, they may miss subtleties in social cues, which can lead to misunderstandings and difficulty in social relationships. Three, Rigid thinking. The tendency towards weak central coherence can also result in rigid thinking patterns. Individuals might struggle to adapt their thoughts or behaviors when faced with changes or unexpected situations, as their focus on detail can make it challenging to see alternative solutions or viewpoints. 4. Strength in visual processing. Research has shown that many people on the autism spectrum may have enhanced visual processing abilities. They may excel in visual-spatial tasks as puzzles which are often misunderstood as merely being. The reality is more complex as it ties into how they process and organize information. Understanding the concept of weak central coherence can have significant implications for education and support for individuals with ASD. Tailored teaching methods that leverage a person's strengths while accommodating their challenges can enhance learning outcomes. Instead of employing a one-size-fits-all approach, educators can design individualized learning strategies that focus on detailed analysis and build towards overarching concepts gradually. 1. Visual supports. Using visual aids such as diagrams, charts, and illustrations can help connect detailed information to more significant concepts. This method taps into the strength of detail-oriented thinking and aids comprehension. Two. Structured environments. Implementing structured and predictable environments can benefit those who exhibit rigidity due to weak central coherence. Knowing what to expect can reduce anxiety and assist in better responding to changes. 3. Social skills training. Programs aimed at enhancing social understanding and skills can be crucial. Role-playing scenarios and explicit teaching of social cues can help bridge the gap caused by difficulties in contextual understanding. 4. Fostering interests. Encouraging and nurturing specific interests can also be beneficial. Many individuals with ASD have strong passions or talents in particular areas, and harnessing this focus can lead to significant achievements and fulfillment. In summary, the relationship between autism spectrum disorder and weak central coherence is a vital area of exploration that enhances our understanding of how individuals on the spectrum process information. Recognizing the strengths and challenges associated with weak central coherence allows for a more compassionate and effective approach in education, therapy, and daily living.